بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about alert dialog in Flutter. So I have this empty project in which I have this uh, run app um, man method and in, in which uh, we have this run app method. And in this run app method, I'm calling this my app class, which extended stateless widget. And uh, now, uh, this this class has this build method which is a built-in method and the return type of this uh, uh, widget is uh, uh, of this build method is widget so we have to return a widget here so I will return return material a widget and in the material app widget we have uh, some properties so i will uh, use the home property of this uh, material widget and uh, in home i will call this my app state uh, class now as this cl class is called so i will come to this uh, uh, my app state class so uh, it is showing error because we do not have a semicolon here now and the return type of this build method is also uh, a widget so here i will use return scaffold widget and in scaffold we have uh, some properties the first one is a, a bar so it will create in a bar for the app so uh, um, a bar so title I will use text and for text I will use um, alert dialogue flutter now I will put a semicolon here and now I will use the other property body and in body I will use center widget and in center widget I will create a flat button uh, I will use the property child flat button and uh, uh, the first one is a uh, child and I will use text widget and show alert and now uh, the second property I will use unpressed and uh, I will also give it a color so that it look good uh, color and now uh, I will use um, colors dot blue gray and now I will create show alert dialog here I'll put semicolon here and now I will create this uh, uh, method but I will pause context here now if I click on this I'll click this uh, bulb icon and now I will uh, click this create alert dialog method now the method is created now here I will use um, I will create a dialog now in this uh, method I will create uh, two buttons widget uh, ok btn is equal to flat button and now I will use uh, its properties uh, so I have to use uh, semicolon here uh, so the first one is uh, a child which is a uh, text and uh, for text I will use uh, cancel and uh, then I will use unpressed and uh, in unpressed I will uh, uh, dismiss the dialogue now I will create another button uh, here so I'll use widget and uh, it will be uh, cancel uh, 
cancel btn is equal to a flat button and now the same goes here child and uh, now uh, I will use a text and in text I will use uh, cancel and in on rest I will use this and this and now I'll put semicolon here now we will create an alert here now here we will create an alert dialog alert is equal to alert dialog and now we have uh, some properties one is title and for title I will use um, text and uh, I will use uh, warning and then uh, we have content and for content I will also use uh, text and uh, this uh, is an alert dialogue demo which is created by mik okay now we have uh, another property called actions now in this in this section we will use uh, uh, ok button as well as cancel button okay now we will show this but first I will use semicolon here now here we will use show dialog here this one and now it take con con a context now I'll put a semicolon here and the per per the context I will use context comma now here is another property called builder and for builder I will use uh, builder builder context um, context or builder context and now I use here curly braces and now I will return here um, alert semicolon now the code is complete so let's run it and check it now the app is running on the device so let's check it if I click on this and now if I cancel it it is not working uh, and both of them is cancelled so I have to change the text on the button as well as I have to add the click uh, event now I'll come here so I'll go to button and uh, I will make this one, first one OK so um, OK when this OK is pressed uh, it will print uh, OK and now when this cancel is pressed it will uh, dismiss the dialog so navigator dot pop and context it will take a context and I, w I will put a semicolon here as well as here now control is it now let's go again to device and now I will open it I'll go back and it again now it is working ok is shown now if I click on this ok you can see that ok is shown here in the console now if I click cancel the dialog dismiss so that's all for today I hope you like the video uh, if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you